Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Today I'm going to show you how to make my famous baked in the oven macaroni and cheese using three cheese blend. It's so famous, I have to make this for lots of occasions around here. Alright, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. Alright, go get your three cheeses that you like, get your pasta, and I'm going to show you how to make this. Alright, so we're going to be putting four cups of cheese into our mac and cheese. Now, I'm going to be using one cup of Monterey Jack cheese, one cup of Gouda cheese, and then two cups of a sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to be shredding my own cheese for this dish because if I get the processed shredded cheese, it's got some kind of film on it or powder that's going to keep my macaroni and cheese from being cheesy and ooey and gooey. All right. We're going to need butter and maybe a little bit extra to butter our pasta with. I'm going to be cooking up some elbow pasta. Now, I'm using these large shaped elbow pastas. Look at those. Those are really going to hold that sauce inside. All right, so I'm going to be using about 12 to 16 ounces. I'm going to be using two eggs. This is going to make the custard for it. And then I've got two cans of evaporated milk. These are 12 ounces each, which we'll be making our custard. Then for our seasonings, I've got salt, about, about a half a teaspoon pepper, about an eighth of a teaspoon, and then I've got some garlic powder here. I'm probably going to put about half a teaspoon in. Some paprika, about half a teaspoon, and then I've got some onion powder, and probably a quarter of a teaspoon. Let's make this oven-baked macaroni and cheese. All right, so I've got my water to a boil. I'm going to go ahead now and flavor it with some salt, a lot of salt, y'all. This is going to also prevent my pasta from sticking. I'm not putting any oil in there. I'm going to go ahead now and add my pasta. If you cook some extra, you can cook extra. I'm probably just going to cook it all. <laughs> that way, you know, whatever I have left, I can put it in the refrigerator and use for something. All right, we'll go ahead now and get this started and stir this around for about 30, 45 seconds. That way, it'll keep the pasta from sticking. And then I'm going to cook it per the directions on the back of the package for one minute less than the al dente. That way it's going to finish cooking in the oven so we don't want to mush. <laughs> All right, y'all, what do you do when your husband comes in the kitchen? <laughs> you put him to work. All right, so I've got him shredding all three packs of my cheeses while I am going to finish up draining my pasta over there, and then we're going to Start building our macaroni and cheese for the oven. Okay, did y'all see that? Our cheese is not going. Our macaroni and cheese is not going to be so macaroni and cheesed. Mmm, my blood, y'all. Which one was that? Gouda. Oh, y'all get the Gouda cheese. All right, y'all. First thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Now I'm going to be taking a 9 by 13 baking dish. Now this is just one of those throwaway tin foil ones. Isn't it pretty? Really festive for the holidays. And I'm going to take some butter, or you can lightly spray it with a cooking spray. And I'm going to hit all the edges, the bottom, and the sides of my baking dish here. I'm going to use butter because you know what? It's the holidays, and it's going to make it taste really good. All right. All right, so in my large bowl, I'm going to take two eggs, crack them, and put them in. I'm going to go ahead now and just whisk this up lightly, just to break up the yolks and kind of get a mix on it. Now, I'm going to take my two cans of Carnation Evaporated Milk, and I'm going to open it with a church key. Just a quick open. And then I'm going to put both cans inside with my eggs here. Mm. Oh yeah, this is going to be really good. Okay. All right, I think this one won. <laughs> All right, give that a mix. 
I'm going to go ahead now and add my seasonings. I've got my salt, my pepper, paprika. It's going to give it a nice color too. All right, we got some garlic powder. Oh, that's smelling good too. That's going to smell really good in there. Give it a nice flavor. And then some onion powder. All right, I'm going to give this all a mix. Oh, it smells good. You know, if it smells good, you've seasoned it well. Kind of wave it at yourself. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to bring my pasta over here and my cheese over here and then we're going to start layering up our macaroni and cheese. Okay y'all, this is where we're going to start layering our pasta and our cheeses three times. So I've got my husband to come over here and mix all three cheeses that he did a great job grating. Yay! He did a great job grating. <laughs> I earned a beer. So now what he's going to do is put this all together, mix it all together while I put our first layer of pasta into my buttered 9 by 13 baking dish here. Okay. Y'all make sure you tell me down in the comments section what kind of cheeses you would put into your macaroni and cheese. Okay, my oven is preheated there at the 375 degrees. Okay. I'm going to get a nice layer here, as you can see. And then I'll probably just go ahead and have my husband put one third of that. This is Thomas, by the way. Hello. <laughs> so he's going to put one third of the cheese on top of that. Give some to the dog. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it falls on the floor. We have a dog over here, a beagle. Who is loving it. <laughs> She'll, clean it. She'll clean it up for us. Okay, just remember one third of that. Okay, so now I've put my baking pan with all my macaroni and cheeses on it on a cookie sheet here that has a lip around it. That will keep everything from spilling over into my oven if that happens, all right? Because I'm going to take my custard mix right here and we're going to start pouring that all into our mac and cheeses. Okay. And just, you know, start a system. Alright, make sure you just keep stirring that so you don't lose any of those seasonings on the bottom of the bowl. I'm telling y'all, y'all make this and bring this to a Thanksgiving potluck or to your family for Thanksgiving or the holidays. Oh yeah. There we go. Alright y'all, so I'm going to add a little paprika to the top of this. I'm going to shake some on. Let's see. Make sure you get the right side there. There we go. Oh, it's going to give it some nice color going across here. Okay, this is going in my oven just like this for 25 to 30 minutes. About five minutes before I think it's done, I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to add a little bit extra sharp cheddar cheese to this, put it back in the oven, put it on broil for about five minutes until it gets a nice golden brown color on top. Okay, I'll be back. All right, so we've just pulled this out of the oven at the 25 minute mark. And we're gonna go ahead now and place another half block of cheese, probably about, I'm thinking four ounces, all over the top of our mac and cheese here. And then it's gonna go back in the oven on broil for about five minutes. I'm looking for a nice, deep, dark brown color with a little bit of crunchies. Oh my gosh, y'all. 
look at that, all that cheesy goodness right there. Oh my gosh. It got nice and brown on the top. It gave a nice little crispiness to it. Nice and creamy with those three different cheeses on the inside with that custard. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh. Forget the turkey. <laughs> Just put all this on my plate. Okay, that's delicious. There's so many flavors running around in that macaroni and cheese. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. Go out and get you some elbow pasta, some cheeses, and put this together for your Thanksgiving. Alright, comment down below what you think, how you make your macaroni and cheese. Give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, that bell notification, so you'll always know when my shows are posted. My husband is behind the camera drooling for this right now. I will see you on the next episode.